Praise the Lord and good morning to all of you. I greet you all in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We have come yet again to studying the Word of God in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and today we are going to focus on verse 6. And now here Apostle Paul says, after the continuation of verse 5, which he speaks about flattery and uh, putting on a mask to cover up greed, and he calls God as his witness. Now Paul goes on to say in verse 6, we were not looking for praise from people, not from you or anyone else. Even though as apostles of Christ, we could have asserted our authority. Now with this verse, you and I need to learn to understand, even though it is good for us to gain a good name among people, it should not be at the cost of our salvation. Many of us have not thought what God thinks about ourselves. Our focus has always been to be this great person that everybody would like. That is the reason some of the great people are still struggling with sins in their life that they are not able to overcome. Because they were so busy working out to be this great person that everybody would admire, appreciate, and accept. See, these problems come due to the inferiority in our heart, not being accepted, or the fear of not being accepted pushes us to this place where we try to do everything possible so that people will like us. And one of the areas I have gone through in my personal life is I always had a problem saying no to people. God had to take me through a journey to help me to learn that lesson, to say no to certain things which I know I cannot take it up as a responsibility, take it up as a task. So when I was studying in my Bible school, my leader set up a wonderful plan to somehow help me to get rid of this problem. So my leader came to me and said, Jabez, these are, these are the responsibilities in the college today. I want you to take care of this. I was glad. I said, yes, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Ten minutes later, my leader came back and said, you know what, you need to do this also. I said, don't worry, I can take that up because I wanted to be accepted by everyone. Another half an hour later, my leader came back to me and said, no, you know what, along with the two other responsibilities I've given to you, I want you to do this as well. I said, no worries. Right there, my leader caught me and said, you have a big problem saying no. That is when I realized I was not being strong there because I was just trying to please my leader and make a good, good impression to my leader. I did not do what was right. I know many men of God, many believers, who are in higher authority in their companies, they are not men pleasers, they are God pleasers. Unless you become a God pleaser, you will never come to the state in which Apostle Paul says, we were not looking for praise from people, not from you or anyone. Paul, Apostle Paul is very clear. We did not come looking for approval, good name, you know, great preacher, because yesterday I was sharing with you and I was telling, flattery is one of the favorite weapon of the devil. And I think it was uh, Charles Spurgeon or one of those preachers who said, when he finished preaching and somebody would come running to him and said, you know what, that message was amazing. He would say, yes, the devil said the same as well. He would not give in to flattery. Of course, we appreciate when people uh, give a good comment, but many a times uh, you know those who are flattering you. And along with that, flattering is because there is a problem in our heart of being accepted. So Paul says, I, in verse 5, Paul says, you know, we never used flattery. I'm not going to butter up anybody. And now in verse 6, he says, we are not looking for the praise from people. So today, may this be our lesson. May this be the area where God will search in us and work in us that we will not live for the praise of people, 
but we will live for the praise of His glory. He is the one who created us. He is the one who saved us. He is the one who gave us this life. And He is the one who gave us this wonderful salvation we have. So today, my dear brothers and sisters, let this be a thought as we continue to ponder and surrender our lives into the presence of God. May the Lord help you as you draw closer to Jesus. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for your grace and your mercy upon our lives because of Jesus Christ. Today, you have given us a wonderful word to meditate upon. That we are not living here for the praise of man, but for the praise of your glory. Lord, help us to do what is right and righteous. Not only speak the truth, what we learned yesterday, but today we, wanted to, we want to learn the important lesson of doing the right things. More than focusing on getting a good name from our boss, good name from our parents, but behind their backs, we are horrible and rotten to the core. Lord, many believers want to make a good impression on their pastors, but inside their, inside their personal life, there is no God. There's no godliness in their life. They are down with a form of godliness in their lives. Thank you through the word of God. You are rebu you're rebuking us, correcting us, bringing reproof into our life so that we can be pure and we can mature in the kingdom of God. Bless this day for your beloved people, Lord. I want to pray for anybody who's celebrating their birthdays. I pray for your blessing to rest upon them. May grace rest upon them. I pray for those who are mourning. Please comfort them. Pray for those who are sick. Heal the blood. May gracious hands continue to be over their lives. Protection of God be upon their lives. In Jesus' name I pray. And all God's people said, Amen and Amen. I want to wish you a wonderful and a blessed day. And the grace of God be with all of you. See you again tomorrow. Goodbye.